Okay, time to look at some renewable energy resources. The first one is solar power. Uh, this probably doesn't look like a solar power system, uh, anything that you're used to. Uh, <clears throat> but what it's called is a concentrating solar uh, power. And so what we do in this case is we use all these mirrors and they focus the sun's energy and the mirrors move to consistently focus it on the top of this tower and heat it to an extremely high temperature. And then that way they heat up something like salt um, or some other uh, substance and then use that heat to produce steam that turns a turbine and produces electricity. Um, we also have photovoltaic panels, the solar panels, that's what you're familiar with. Um, and uh, so those are both ways to use solar power to produce energy. Um, the concentrated solar power heat can be stored um, in, in uh, molten salt. It can be stored for hours and hours. Um, they can store it as water in pipes underground. Um, and then basically you're storing that heated water to produce steam later. Um, so there are ways to do it. The storage is kind of the hang up right now on solar power. Um, but uh, there's more ideas and, and more possibilities all the time in making it more viable. Um, it's expensive, but thanks to China and uh, especially uh, cranking out uh, huge amounts of solar panels, the price has been consi dropping considerably over the last few decades. Um, and its efficiency is really low, it's 15%. But now um, a lot of research has gone in and some of that efficiency rates is turning up into the 30 to 40% range, so comparable to all of the other energy sources we've already talked about. Um, we can also use fuel cells. Um, fuel cells are uh, a chemical way of storing energy or producing energy, um, and that's a way that we might be able to store some of this energy. Also, fuel cells can be very small. Um, they've talked about a substance called methanol that they could put um, in, in place of cell phone batteries. So you could put a dropper full of methanol in your uh, cell phone battery and it would run uh, for weeks without needing to be charged, which is kind of wild. Um, but we have to replace that fuel. So that, you know, it, it's all sort of different things that we weigh out there. Uh, if we uh, were to harness some solar power uh, energy, say in Arizona or California, um, if we set up enough solar uh, producing areas in there, we could produce seven times the amount of energy uh, currently needed in the United States. So it is definitely uh, something that we could use and is a viable source. Um, one of the arguments against it is that, of course, it's dark at night, so you can't produce solar power at night, and that's usually when people need most of their electricity. So there are some issues with it to still be worked out.